So the ninth Shakespeare School Festival kicks off on the 16th of April with a play by Matthew Khan entitled The Robin Island Shakespeare, performed by Vista Nova High School learners. Um, and here to get us excited about uh, the festival is festival founder and drama teacher, um, Senia Fletnova uh, Bruton. I probably butchered that completely. The bard <laughs> would have been very upset with me. Um, and the director of the festival, Lauren Bates. Um, Senia, uh, Lauren, welcome to the, the show. Thank um, you. And of course, Kieran and Sebastian are, are your proudest supporters, I as know. you say, your kids. I know. Uh, they are. And such a, yeah, it's such an honor for them to be here today with me as well. Um, well, they're just cool cats, man. Too cool for school, <laughs> is what you'd say. I'm just very comfortable on camera, but that speaks volumes about immersing yourself in something like this. Um, performing arts, we know, is a massive thing for young people to get into, but I don't think, uh, and it's beyond me why we were even looking at dropping Shakespeare at schools at one point, but it, for me, it forms the backbone of, of literature, of, of mm -hmm. English culture, of learning the beautiful language. What is the motivation behind the Ninth Shakespeare School Festival um, and the fact that it's been dedicated to a freedom fighter, Sunny Venkat Rathnam? Um, what was the motivation there? Um, I think just overall the achievements that we have um, reached the ninth year of running Shakespeare Schools Festival is, is already uh, speaks volumes. Um, the following we have with the schools, the inspiration behind Shakespeare works and how um, it's not only um, you know, part of the festival but uh, the story of Sunny and the complete works of Shakespeare's or Robin Island uh, back in the apartheid times and how the works of Shakespeare was inspirational to the freedom fighters of, you know, of the apartheid uh, back, in the, uh, back in those times. And I think it's just an honor to uh, bring the story for the first time on South African soil and tell the story of Sunny and how the complete works of Shakespeare ended up on the island. Oh, you can just imagine how many young people are going to receive motivation and inspiration from yeah. that now. Um, and I think we need this kind of message now more than ever. And um, gr works as great as this need a great stage. And of course, you're taking it to the Artscape from the 16th to the 18th of April. That's a massive stage uh, for young people to be performing on. What can we expect from the festival? How do you even begin to, to build a body of work out of so much that you can focus on, Lauren? Well, with this particular production, the Robin Island Shakespeare by Matthew Hahn, uh, you can expect to see Vista Nova students who are now, they've actually come through the festival and they've all matriculated, so they're students, they're studying, and it's just incredible to see how they've grown with the festival and how they are now going to be telling this incredible story about the inspiration that Shakespeare provided to the men on Robben Island. And I think it's very timeless because I think as South Africa, in some ways, we've become very cynical. We've lost the a lot world. of our ideals. <laughs> the world, absolutely. And this play brings us back to those ideals of dignity, of justice, of equality for everybody. And it challenges the, the current regime as well as the, the apartheid regime. So it, it forces people to look at what are we actually standing for. So, and it's just incredible to see these young men take on that mantle and use Shakespeare as a vehicle to communicate this absolute passion for justice and for equality. And um, what we love is the archetypes in there as well, the heroes, the yes. villains, which yeah. fits very <laughs> yeah. well into a South African narrative. Yeah. Um, you talk about viewers being forced to think about these things, but I think where that dynamic really comes to bear is for the performers themselves. Absolutely. have to think so yeah. deeply about every inflection, every word. Yes. What goes into preparing for a production like this? Oh, it's, uh, you know, Lauren, obviously, being director of the actual Robin Island Shakespeare, she can maybe reflect on it a little bit more. Well, it's a, it's a long process. So you've, you start off just studying around the, the story. So we've watched documentaries about Sunny. I've done a lot of research into the whole story of Robin Island Shakespeare. It was this copy of the complete works that was owned by Sunny Venkatrathnam. And then he allowed the men to share it and read it and discuss it. And then different political prisoners have signed their names next to their favorite quotation. Oh. And then the, the playwright actually mm -hmm. interviewed many of these, um, these men and asked them why they chose their particular quotation. So the play has got this beautiful um, infusion of these interviews and these, these texts. So the, the students, um, the performers study the different heroes in the play and then they, they look at their backstories and how they connect with the Shakespeare. So then, and then there's a lot of process of creativity. So in our rehearsal space, they're bringing a lot of ideas. We try things out, we experiment, we do a lot of um, kind of movement pieces to connect with the emotion behind what's being conveyed. 
and then eventually everything comes together. So it's, it's still coming together. At the moment. And I would imagine when you perform it on the nights, it's going to be completely it's different. Be completely it's an different. organic it's thing, and I think it's very organic. Um, that's the beauty of, of touching a, a body of work that is so powerful in this yes. way and so emotive. Where do we people get tickets, and how do we support? If this is the ninth year, we want another eleven to take it to absolutely, twenty. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, this is such. I would imagine this is like set work material. Schools have got to see this. We're how hoping. can people yep. connect and get tickets? Um, so, compute ticket for Artscape. We're running three days, and Robin Allen Shakespeare is the opening play however we also have other schools performing so we're starting uh, there'll be other uh, performers young performers that we also challenging to the works of Shakespeare and really just taking it deep into understanding and uh, you know really giving them this complex uh, works to to absorb and to perform on our professional stages and that's going to be a compute ticket from 16 to the 18th of April and yeah please support but I think the opening on the 16th will be extremely special one um, it sounds like it's going to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, I think, to, to, to marry the past with the present yeah. in the most relevant way. So thank you so much for, for the <laughs> tireless you. efforts that you put thank in behind you. the scenes and for bringing your little ones as well. <laughs> um, to make us feel like real superstars this morning, um, as you've, you've got all of those details, and we'll keep them up on our website of how you can go and support um, the Robin Island Shakespeare performed by Vista Nova High School's learners, and it sounds incredible.